hello guys welcome back to my channel so if you're new here please consider subscribing and uh, if you and hit the bell icon and leave a like so today i'll be teaching you how to some basic function how to use kinta and some how, how to use some of its widgets so if you are not familiar with kinta so this is a, this is a is a lesson for, is a tutorial for you so hope you ho hope you will you love the content and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so let's begin so kinta is a python library for creating gui for gui development like you create desktop for creating desktop applications so we have different Python libraries for doing that. We have, for example, PyQt, PyAutoGui, and so many libraries. But today we'll be learning about Kinta and checking it out and how to use some of its widgets. So something you must know about GUI development is that GUI development is event-driven. So when you create a GUI development, the application waits for some for a user to do something so that like when you when we create a button, so we, that's an event. So we'll be writing something like a function so that with the user cl clicks that button, something happens. So we won't be we won't we won't be looking at much at that, but we'll create a simple function that just displays something on our terminal. So let's begin. So some of the of what we'll be learning about today, we'll be checking about our this. So we'll be looking at creating buttons using Kinta, the menu, creating a check a check button. We'll also be looking at a menu but menu button. We'll be looking at creating a frame using Kinta. We'll be looking at creating a label. We'll also be checking out using the message library so that we can show some pop-ups when something happens. That's that's the message box. Sorry. So we'll be check looking also at entry entry on in kinta so this is it will display an entry box where you can write something in it yeah so let's begin so let's first clear that out or we can write something here like and then just insert all of that here so let's add entry and what else will be will we be looking at? So first let's let's look at these ones and then we'll, we'll look at the, the others. So I'll also be showing you how to use class uh, an ob object oriented approach to creating our Kinta programs. So guys, just don't leave. I I I hope this helps someone. And so that you can start out with GUI development with Kinta. So let's begin. So if you're familiar with Python, we always have to like we also have to import. So Kinta is pre it comes comes with Python. When you install Python, you don't need to pip install anything. So we just have to import it. So from Kinta we import so the when when we use this we are getting everything in the kinta li uh, library so now what we need to do we need to create our our main 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 frame or main loop something like that yeah so this is for creating our main window so the whole window so it's it will be this you may name this uh, to anything that you want so if your um, application is known as boss or or cool you may just name it like that so and then we write tk so it's uppercase t lowercase k and then now we 
now and now we are now entering the the event main loop this is for entering the event main loop so that we can display our frame so when we run this it wouldn't work so we need to do something like boss dot main loop and then we all we so for every kinta program you must always use these two so now when we run this as you can see here a small frame is displayed and it looks nice so that's a simple program that you have already created but let's rename this i always love using root so this is just me but i always use the root for every project that i do so first what we'll be looking at let's look at the ent entry so let's check out entry so in kinta displaying an entry box will will write something like uppercase uppercase e and then entry so this this now is is a is a kinta class widget so entry to display an entry in kinta you'll just need to write this and then now this and then now let's let's first create a variable known as entry don't use an uppercase when you are writing a variable or else it will interfere with the kinta function entry equals entry so and then now we write the we will always write this root here here so this is for display so guys after doing that what we need to do next is so now we set the entry uppercase e so to you can also play with the entry box so you can set the font font equals you can set it to any value you can also set the background and you can bg so that stands for background and then you can also so let's say green also you can set the foreground equals white so you can pl play with this you can check this out in kinta documentation some of of the things that you can do with an entry box so let's say the foreground let's set it to white so now what we need to do next is now display it on our on our on our frame so on our on our window so in kinta you may either pack it you may either place it or you may either grid it so you can either either use the the grid you may you can either use the packing pack and then you can either use place so let me show you how, how that's done so you need now to set to call the variable entry dot now let's say we want to just pack it so let's see how that looks so as you can see here we have our our entry the and the our background is is green as we set it and then we have our foreground to when we write any any word as you can see it's white so this pack there is some elements of kinta that you can use like you can set the side side of where you want to see the entry so we can play it with it like you can set it to up either up bottom left or right so let me show you You just write side here and then equals to so and on this values should always be on uppercase so let's say left left let's run that and see as you can see here when we ran our program first it was above it was here so now as you can see here it's on our on the left side so again we can change the value let's say right 
right or oh, uppercase uppercase so that's right so as you can see it changed it came here so and guys there is something i first want to show you so you don't always want to see all of this window like here it's smaller and then now we so we don't want to we want to set a default size of 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 this window so we use something known as geometry in kinta so root dot let's say to the geometry of all of this window so it's as easy as, as it said so you just set the x ax, the value of the x axis and the value of the y axis so let's set set that to let's say 300 let's play with the 300 and then times you just use x not the the one that we we use when you are calculating path on the, the, that one we just use x and then now let's say 200 so now let's see how that looks as you can see here it it look it at least looks better you see now we have a smaller window something that we can work with instead of maximizing and minimizing so that that's about it on let's set it now to up 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 all oh, oh top 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 uh, top here yeah. so the value is top not up it's top and bottom left and right so as you can see here we, we have it looks it looks awesome so uh, we can also set the width so as you can see now it's it looks smaller so we can play with the width of the entry box so let's play with the width equals to let's set something like 30 yeah that is enough for us so as you can see it it, it stretched to the right I don't know if it's stretched to the right or the left, so but it's stretched as you can see our width changed for the for the entry box. So I think that's about it for no 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 now let's see now let's see let's look at place. So if you want to place something, you can either set it on the or you can set it on on a window, you can set it on anywhere you want. So we can play with the x axis and the y axis. So like here, let's set it x to 20 and let's play x stands for x axis and y y axis. So always separate them with a with a comma. Y let's set y to let's say 40. Let's play with 40 or 60. Yeah. So you'll see it will be different with this one. So let's first close that one and then run it. Yeah, as you can see here, it changed. So that's that's the place where the 20 is here, so let's change the x and you will see. When I say 10, let's say something like 10, you will see it changed. It moved leftwards a little bit. So that's, that's about, you can place anything. So uh, most of the time I use place or, or a grid. Packing stuff just for me, it, it, it's, it's just, but you, you may use it for simpler programs yeah so again now that that's that's place that's for place and then now you may you may try to grid let's say you want to grid here we say i want to set it it's dot grid entry dot grid so we must want to set the, the row to zero and then let's set our column to two let's see how that looks so as you can see here the row is is on zero i don't know about the column what was the what is the column not changing here let's try it again seems like the grid system is maybe so we'll, we'll just just pause for a minute we'll look at that on on our future project Let, let's just go back to entry dot let's just place it for now 
let's just set x equals to something 2 or 10 and then this y will be will be 20 so i think that you you may want to check out more things that you can do with the entry box on the documentation but that's i was that's basically how you get started with the entry box so we'll want to comment this out so this is control slash on my windows and i'm using vs code so now let's next look at buttons so buttons in, in kinta but we use buttons buttons are just buttons you, you 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 click it and then something you may want to create an event that when a user cre clicks that button something happens so in button in kinta you may, you let's first write a variable button and then always start with an uppercase for or for kinta widgets as you can see here and then now we, what we did with our entry we said that root so here for our buttons we can use something known as text to set the default what what so when we run this so let's use what we have seen in the past like let's let's just pack it button dot pack and then now let's just run that and see as you can see here we have our button but it looks weird so what we want to do with our button is like we is we can set our default default text something that the user sees on that button so you just write text and then now you you, you write some brackets and then now we not brackets you you quote the the word and then now we write something like cool anything for the button so as you can see here now our buttons has a default name of of cool so some so here you have created your first button on kinder so you may want to create let's let's make more buttons so So button one, button two, that's button three, let's name four, and then five. Button five. So now let's pack all of these buttons. Control shift. So to copy paste, you just it's control V. And yes, so that's 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 the first one that's two three four five so now let's look at that one and see so we have we as you can see here we have all of these buttons so let's change the other values cool python program something like limbo these are just names that I'm, that are just coming out of my mind don't Beep. <laughs> so as you can see here we have different buttons so what so in 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 buttons we can we can also set the background and the foreground of the button so what the background changes is it's the color of all the button and the foreground changes the text of the of the of the button so let's look at that here so you can also set the font you can now let, let's let's first see let's set our font to let's say 30 30 yeah set the our bug our bg background let's set it to 50 or oh, not <laughs> this is a background let's set it to red and our foreground fg let's set it to white yeah 
I forgot the so let's run that and see as you can see it changed the color of of the background and of the text color so you 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 may change the colors of your button so let's let's look at doing something like so as you can see here wait 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 let's run this first and see look at the font so as you can see our font size changed so let's change that on to 100 something like 100 or a thousand let's <laughs> let's see what it will look like where is the value of the font not changing so leave the leave that one alone first i'll show you so for our buttons you buttons as we said are are good programs are event driven so we may write a function that when the button is clicked something happens so we may so in writing a function in pattern is we define the function so let's say click then now let's call that and then now let's print print collect print you click So for for calling this function in Kinta, we know that in Python when, when you call the function you may want to write something like click, something like that. Let's see. As you can see here, you clicked on our below here. Let's let me maximize this. Yeah, yeah, you clicked. So that's how we do it in our norm, our, our customary way in Python. So now in Kinta, you just write something on, on, as you can see here, on our button here. We just write something like command. That's how we call a function in Kinta. Command. Then now, let's say click. So now, when the user clicks this button, the fun our function will run. So we have already defined it. Now let's see. Then we close that one, that window. Nope. Let's close that one. Now let's run it again. Now let's see. As you can see below here, here you clicked. Now when, when you do it again, you clicked. You clicked. So you 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 may when we create something like a calculator here, when you create something in Kinta or any UI GUI program. We also we 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 use functions or to for the events when something happens and then a program works. So as you can see here, we may write another function here. Let's say fun. So let's write. Um, Pull equals no set print funny. So on our next Python, on our next button, fun, we just write command. command and then the function that we want to run so now when we run this again something indent what's oh, not indented here syntax which line line one what's breaking this code Something funny happening here.
That's fast. It's saying syntax error on line one. Invalid syntax. So what's what's wrong with this? Command fun something. Let's remove that function and see what's the problem. Oh, let me exit that one. <laughs> I know what's, what was wrong, guys. I entered the main idea of Python, so I was running, trying to, so let, let me show you. I was doing something like that. Let, let's let's do this. Let's run here. Let me show you what was wrong. So let's write here Python. So I was trying to run the code of, of Kinta. I def I, I, I it's it's like I clicked something and then we entered in this one. So I was trying to run Kinta. Kinta don't py. <laughs> Something like this on or, or, or on this it won't work. So that's why I, I I wrote exit. This is to exit this idea of Python that comes with Python, and then now our code ran well. <laughs> Such a stupid problem. So let's go back and and the, I think that's it about buttons. Now let's let's leave it at that on buttons. So you may want to play, you may play around with buttons and see what you can achieve with them. So I think that's it about buttons. So now what we'll be learning next are, we'll be, we'll be looking at, at labels. So we, we, may, we may use our labels with either entry boxes or or just to set a label of of on on our main window so let's look at labels now so what we'll do here is you on or in buttons also you can place them or you can grid them so it's up to you what you want to use so i showed you how to place as you can see here or let me just show for a minute and then now we may jump to labels so place here x that y go 30 or 40 so let's run that yeah so you can see it changed and when you just click everything goes goes so you you may either use place grid or pack so so now let's comment that out. Now let's look at buttons. So ah labels, labels. Sorry. So labels, label also in Kinta, it's just uppercase L. And then now you can use that widget. So let's set our root as I showed you. And then now here you may you may also in labels you, you we, we can set the default text that we want to see on screen so text equals to fun label let's say that fun label and then now we may also change the background and the foreground so let's set our, our, for, our back, let's first start with the background let's start, set that to blue Let's set that to blue, and then our, our foreground FG. Let's set that to black. And guys, here it's not a must you use the English of of the colors. You may use hex values or the what are they or RGB values. So you may check that out on the, on on your browser. RGB values or hex values. So here now let's pack our label dot pack let's pack it on our on our window so let's run that as you can see here we have our label so let's we, we let's play with the width that's too small 
and that color and we might we may we might want to change the color of the background so with let's set our width to 50 and let's change the let's change this to white at now let's run that as as you can see it extended but th that that does not seem to work let's change it to what color will look better or let's set it to black here and here let's set it to white let's set that to white so let's close that and then run it again as you can see here we have our label well, above here with our default value so that looks good so you may want to use label like let's say i am um, let's let's create something let's create something like just a small app to get your username and and your password so we'll be using this label now let me show you how to create that we'll be using label and and entry so here we created our label so next we can we can what we can do next is let's first change that to let's set it to 40 then we, we want to place that so i'll show you how, how we can play with the values here so let's copy this let's paste it here we'll be using let's see we'll be using two labels and two entries so what we'll do here we'll set this to which one x let's say that to 40 and our label let's set it to x equals to zero so here here we'll just we are summing up what we have learned so as for now we have learned about labels buttons and entry so we are just creating a simple program as you so that you can see what we development is all about so let's set that to zero and then we might want to set our y to let, let's just set it that to zero first yeah and also this other label we must want to set it like that so let's change the text to username and then here password password so when 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 we run this what we do this will be something like also 40 yep and then i did not lay right and yeah 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 <laughs> forgot that so boom. So that th those are on the same line, so we don't want that. So this one will set it to twin. Let let's let's bring this up. So this will be. Nope, I don't want forty. And then now let's set it to something like mm, ten. Let's look at how that will be. Yep, yep, that, that, that looks way better. So uh, with <laughs> this, that, that looks just big. That's, let's set it to 5. Also, this one will want it to be something like 5. Wait, wait, wait. Let's run that. As you can see, it's, it's coming, it's coming well, it's coming well. So this one will be... Let's set it to... 70 yep yeah 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 now that looks it's 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 looking it's looking better so here this will want to set this on the same so 40 no zero and then the y and i will want it to set it to 10 yep yep 
now when we set that return yeah yeah it's on the same line so we may also want to change the width of this one let's say 50 let's say 10 also this one let's change it to 10 so we are changing the we are playing with the values here so that we can see how the program will look yep yep that looks way better so let's continue expanding with the so this one we set it to 70 so also the y will set it to 70 so that all everything will be on the same line yeah 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 it's coming it's coming together so here we'll change this from 40 for the entry let's set it to something like 60 let's see how that looks 60 yep now that that looks that looks better that looks better yeah 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 that looks way better so let's change our width here to something like 50 no let's set it to 10 also for the label let's set it to 10 let's run that yeah now that looks way better then now let's change the y of of our uh, uh, not the y the x of uh so let's say that, that 70 also here we'll want to change this to 70 so that we may space the items yeah yeah that looks way better so we may write let's 90 i think that we will set everything 90 yeah now that uh, as you can see here so you can write john do so what you what, what you, you might do is you may write a function that takes these values and just displays them on below here or you may want to write a database something that collects all of this data and insert it on your database so as you can see here so that looks looks nice so here we have seen how you can use labels and how you can use labels with Kinta and we have seen how you how we can use entry boxes and buttons so next that's all i think that's all about labels so next we'll be looking at let's check out the what what, what should we do next let's look at frames so for frames for frame let's first comment that out so let's let's look at frames frame also this one will just uppercase like that then we want to set the root element here so that's 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 for our frame so what we'll, we'll do next is for the frame you can set the width you you can set the height and you can also set the background so unlike other elements you have seen we said the to bg here we just set the whole name background as it, as it stated so let's set our width you just call it like this frame so let's set it to 200 and uh, no let's set it to 50 and our height let's set it to let's set it to something like 80 yeah and then now let's set our background because i want to create like 
two fr two frames so that you can see the different uh, of how frames are created. So we'll set our back our this background to blue. Blue. And then now we pack it. So frame. Dot pack. Let's run that and see. As you can see here, we have our frame. It's quite small, but let's change the values here. Let's set our width to 100 and then our height to 50. Yeah, we have a small frame. So to create another frame here, we just do the same thing as we did here. We'll just change the the variable names. It's like frame two, frame two. Now let's run that. As you can see here, oh, it's on the same. Let's set that to yellow. Yep. So as you can see here, we have two frames. Frame the the first frame, the second frame. That's I think that's how you can set frames on your on your on your program. So where where I know that you're asking yourself where can we use frame? So frame is used to organize the group of widget. It's it's like a container. So you can use to organize your 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 program or your widget. So I think that's all about frames. They I I don't think there is much about frames. So next we'll be looking at the list box. Let's look at the list list box list box. So the list box is used to list items so you 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 let's say you have like 50 items and you want to list them so you may you may use the list box to showcase your items in the in the GUI program that you're creating so let's let's look at that so first let's comment this out and then now let's look at frames place that at the top at list box so here it's li list box let's just name the variable list list box also uppercase so list box here let's that to let's say that to root so what we'll do here is we want to insert all of these items in in our in our window so we will use the we'll use insert there's something in kinta knows that insert you may also want to use insert on the entry box so that when you get a value from the button you use you insert it on the entry box so we use insert in kinta so first let, we have created that so let's say list box dot insert so now here we are setting the index so here here this will be one and then now let's say let's say python so let, let let's list some programming languages so let's just copy this instead of repeating ourselves control v so here we'll have the let's say this is two three and four so here we'll let's let's write c plus plus let's write java and 
let's write Ruby. I don't like Ruby, so let's write PHP. So what we'll do here is pack all of these items. List box. Not pack. So let's run that and see how it display on our window. So let's first close that one. This box dot insert as no attribute. Oh, is something wrong here? Oh, insert. I spelled that wrong. Instat. Instat. <laughs> Sorry for this this errors. Sometimes I don't have the best keyboard for now. As you can see here, we have a, a list box displaying all our items. So we have Python, we have C, we have PHP, we have Java. So so that how that's how you basically make a list box in Kinta. So we may want to say let's let's create a label that that says something. So label so let's let's write the text to be programming <laughs> I'm telling you this keyboard is killing me you it's killing me programming yeah programming language languages so and then let, let's also pack that now when we run this as you can see here we have a label and then our our list box of all the all of everything we we put on this so i think that's all about list boxes you can also play around with this so as you can also do something like you can activate you can set the size so the size is it just lists out the number of lines that are present on the list box so you may check that out on the kinta kinta what of the kinta documentation so we we, we can also create a button that that can delete all of these items on the list box so so i think that that's all, all that's all that's all, all about the list box so next we'll, we'll look at canvas yeah L let's look at canvas can canvas and then next we'll look at check buttons and i think we'll try to wrap it up canvas can be ca canvas uh, canvas can can be confused by frame you make you might because they look similar but are, are two are two different things oh so yeah i have deleted all the all the code I, but i'll i'll when i but you you, you might i hope you followed along so a canvas is that we just used to add structured graphics on, on python on on the kinta on kinta so setting a canvas is just the same as we are we have been doing so it's let's say can let's name this to can equals canvas let's set that to a root and something I, I love about canvas is that you can draw shapes with it so it's an it's amazing it's an amazing kinta widget so let's see you may set the background let's set our background to yellow and then now 
let's say the H2. Let's say the H2 100. And then so we also pack this one. So can dot pack. Let's run that. As you can see here, as I told you, you might you might confuse canvas with with uh, with fr with the, with the, f the frame widget, but they are two very different things. So wh what we can do, it's now let's let's draw something with this so that I can show these are two different. So let's draw something like a rectangle. So to draw a rectangle, let's let's name a variable rect. Then equals to can dot yeah it's create. So you write create create and then here create rectangle as you can see there so and then now we set now here we are setting the the let's say what the, these are going the the sizes of the rectangle so we 10 let's say 30 40 and then 50 let's say 5 so that it can be even 10 10 and then let's say this, this one to 40 40 so i think that and then now we, we must set the color so we may set this to fill and then we set it to something like blue let's set that to blue and then now we we pack so it's can dot pack let's run that and see as you can see here we created a, a small a small rectangle so you you can create a rectangle you can create an oval can create a polygon there is just different shapes that you can create with canvas so it's it's amazing you may want to check it out and see everything that you can do with it, it so i believe that's it on canvas so what we want to look at next is is check button so as if you have been Looking at most UE programs, you may have seen this this check button. It's 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 just something that. Let, let me show you how it looks. So first, what we need, to, what what the values of these check buttons are always are is one and zero. So when you check it, it goes to one. When it's unchecked, it's it's zero. So here so that's that's on canvas we've, we've seen that so let's look at check button so let's say check check v equals to int we, we first set the int the integer value int int var for every checkbox we 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 should always do this so then now the check box check button so as we have always done so we check button we set here to a root element we set the default text that we want to see so this is will this will, dis, will be displayed on let's say it will be on the right side so let's say python 
and then now we take the our variable the this here check v let's paste it there so variable we set that to this value here check v and then now the on value when it is clicked is one or the off value is zero so we we must set that so it is on value on value equals to one and the off value off value equals to zero and then now we must we can set the height let's set our height to something like four and then our width something like four like eight so i think that's it so now we can pack this let's pack that check button dot pack let's copy that variable dot pack then now let's run that so of value of value of of value so as you can see here we have we have our checkbox here it, it looks small so let let's enlarge so let's change the width to 20 our height to 10 now let's look at it again yep that did not change much but as you can see here we can check it and uncheck it we can check it and uncheck it you can check it and uncheck it so you might use this when let's say you want to create a, a program that filters out some some things so you might you might check this or or, or let's say you want to find all all the instances that the name python is so you might check it and and write a function that does that for you and when you run it it will do every, it will do it for you so let's let's create more more check buttons so that our pro, at least it looks way better so c++ ssc sharp check button three and this should be two so the variable two three so now let's run that and see as you can see here we have three check buttons so you might select that wow wow so uh I know why you're asking yourself when I click on Python, the rest are clicked. It's because we only created one one in one int variable here, check V. So they are using the same. So when you click on the first one, the rest are clicked. So you might want to use that or when you so if you wanted for every button to get their own for, for every button when you click to get their own. We'll have created this check v into variables different different ones for each each check, each check button so but here we we this was just to show you how how check buttons work so i think that's that's all about check buttons so i think next next we'll be looking at let's say the let's look at the the menu button or the menu Let, let's first look at the menu let's look at the me, me, menu so if you want to create a, a menu on kinta we it, it's it's just is it it's very very simple 
So on many program that you see, you see a menu above the program that gives you every that shows you some. Let's say it it gives you some exit, some default values that that are are written there. So that's what will be. Let first let me show you a menu. So what we'll do here. Let's just do the same as we have done. Menu. Let's scroll up so that you can see this clearly. Menu bar. Let's say the let's set yeah uppercase M and then let's set it to root. So now, 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 now let's set our our commands. So here, yeah, we this 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 will for this this will just create the menu, the menu. Let's run this and you'll see. Oh, we have not packed it. I'm sorry. So. Oh. So here we will config. So it will be top dot config that that that's how you 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 set the menu so here yeah, it will be root dot config menu and then here yeah, it will be menu bar. So th this this will show us the the menu bar. So is it or is it? Oh, we have not inserted our values first. So let's let's first write our values. Menu bar dot add. So that's how we set our values. Add command and then here we'll set our label so instead of in the, on the menu instead of using text we use label so so let's write here something like python and then let's set our command here to no so that's the label of our value so next we'll set another value here And then here is exit. Let's say exit. So let's run that and see. As you can see here, we have we have a menu bar with our Python and exit. So they 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 look good. That's how we, that's how you basically make a a menu on Kinta. So what we'll now look at next it's it's making a menu button so so a menu button is it, it, let's say it's a drop down something like a drop down so what it what is it does it, it, it's not like it's not like our menu you as you have seen for this our menu here all are all are some there most of our of our elements are not made as as a list let's they are they are made to let's say flex uh, flow on the, something like on the on the right so w what we can do here when you are creating a menu button is we are, we are we are creating 
something where, whereby we, we can choose from one. Oh, oh, let me just show you here. Yeah. First, let's close that on the menu. So what we do is we just write button m equals menu button. That's how. We so we also set this to root. Can set our default value so on our menu button it, it, unlike the menu it's text so here we can set languages and then relief or oh, first let's set those oh, oh really the, this sets the the menu buttons the style that you want it Set, set that to flat and guys please for all of this please just code code yourself don't don't just go on, on github and get everything that i'm i'm writing here try to do it yourself and that's how you get better at programming so let's grid this one dot grid as you can see here we we are, we are seeing here, here but now let's set it as a menu so now that's that, that that's only a menu button now let's set it as a menu so what we'll do here let's take this dot menu as we as we just did here this this value this value here as as we did it here so and then now we say we call the menu and then now the va the value of this menu will be this Bottom M, and then now we, we we write something like the menu button here. No, not uppercase. So we write. So now we, here we are creating a list of of this menu of this menu items so this is a is a list of the menu items and then now we write here menu to call this this button here that's how it's used now let's run this and see how that for now that that looks as you can see here it has changed you can see now it has started to list so now we can add our items here first let, let me let me just let me let me place this or oh, let's let's just grade it for now So now adding the items, it's like we did here above, above here, over here. When we set the menu, add uh, add command here. So what we are doing here, it's 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 it's, it's instead of add add command, we'll be using add 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 check button. So here we are adding a check button where you can check and uncheck. So when you click on on that check button or on that menu me, menu button it will select that what you what you you selected so let me copy this here 
and show you. So instead, our variable is different, but on M. So in, in so here we'll just write English, and then now we, the way we we because it we are setting it to check check button we we'll want to use the int variable that we used so we are just summing up i i know this it's it's looking a little bit tough but i i tell you when you just do it a couple of times it will become second nature so because we are we are using a check button here let's change this to check check button check button check check button yep so here we'll set this here to we'll set our variable so that that so for that it's, it's it will be like that so where the error oh I've left out one. Yep. So that's for the the first element that you want to see on this menu button. So for the second one, you can write Spanish. And guys, please forgive me for the spellings. <laughs> English is my second language, so don't don't come hard at me for for all these typos on the on the program and guys please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more great content so now we want to pack all of these elements Let, now let's run that we have no attribute check button so or oh, no we, we want to set it to the menu that menu here like this one i forgot that menu menu there it is as you can see here we have created a check button when you click on uh, here you, you see you can select english so you you can use this when let's say you have created a program that you want to change to different languages let's say it's a software that you want to sell to different countries so you might create a program that can the user can change the as you can see here when i select english then when i select spanish yeah so that's that's about it where for for using menu buttons so guys i think that that's that's it for for this so for, so let me show you how we can use we can use um, class let uh, an object oriented approach for this so we just write we just in, instance we just write class so and then let's say up something like that And then now we instant we in, initialize the the class in it like that. So here it will be. We want to set this to master. So that's how that, that this is how we can use. So we self dot master equals master and then let's let, let's say and then now we can set if we want to use things like buttons here i'm just i'll just be showing you some simple ways to be to use 
classes in 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 this so we can set this to first let's let's close this so we, we can write here if name equal equals i guess please i hope that you are familiar with python so that this, this if you're familiar with python and you this won't be hard for you and then now let's set the root to tk let's set the op equals to up i'll just explain it in a minute what i'm doing here and then now let's close the main loop the event main loop so so i think that, that is that how we named the class oh it's it's lowercase oh uh, let's write it as uppercase up yep now that looks way better so what we can do here it's it's just basically let's say if you want to use a button in in kinta so a normal wizard has, has been using using directly so for classes when you want to use it in class now let's set the the, the title for our frame so you just set it to self and then you master this as we did here self master and then title let's say cool so now when we run that you'll see here we have a title for our our, our frame here yeah cool so again what we can do here now let's create a button so self for class based we always we always start with self and then now this is just a variable button equals and then now let's let's use kinta and then now we'll set we'll set this now to master and then now we'll set the text our default text to python and then now let's pack that so it would be self dot button dot pack So now when we run that here we have a button as you can see here is our button so that's just a simple introduction how you can use classes with kinta and guys hope you will you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like to hit the like button subscribe and share so thank you guys see you on the next video